Today we installed a new air conditioner on an existing furnace. We start off by making sure that our copper lines are fit up very nicely. They are clean. They also have nitrogen flowing through them and there is wet rags wrapped around both sides of the joint. This helps to reduce the heat transmission down the line that can either melt the insulation or it could hurt some components that are inside the evaporator. So once we get it all brazed up, we go ahead, cool the joint down. I'm using a 15% silver brazing rod here, which the manufacturer recommends for copper to copper joints. We did the big line first, we move on to the smaller line. It's important to note that yes, there is nitrogen flowing through this, which helps to ensure that oxidation doesn't happen on the inside. So you'll notice these lines when I'm done brazing, they look a little black on the outside, but once we wipe it off, it goes back to copper. That's the oxidation that's happening on the outside. I went ahead, checked my joints, they're cooled down, took my wet rags off, pulled the insulation back out. This larger line is our suction line, so it will condensate when it's running in the air conditioning mode. So we wanna have it all sealed up, put the stoppers back in place to help keep the air inside the evaporator airflow. And then the last thing we'll do after this video is we'll insulate this suction line, make sure it's sealed all the way back to the evaporator. Sometimes I forget to put these covers on before we braze them and you end up having to put little slits in them and fit them around. Fortunately, I was on my A game today and remembered to put them on ahead of time. So here's a close up of these fittings brazed up, nice, and it looks like we got good flow and penetration all the way around. Thanks for watching.